oh Penny, I've got plenty of MGH, I'm doing the FD to improve my half MV squared for tomorrow's level 3 physics exam. Yeah. Are there any tips you can give me to help me out? Yeah, last minute study, a really good place to start is your formula sheet. Okay. Yeah, so like look at all the formulas, what the concept is behind all those formulas, also look at the variables as well and the units of those variables and what they stand for. It's a really good place. Great, and then yep. it's just, what, one formula per question? Uh, yeah, sometimes, yep, but most, sometimes you also get ones where you need two formulas. So for instance, if it's talking about orbit, you need to pull out a centripetal force and you need to also pull out gravitational force. Okay, got you, yeah. got you. So for example, say I figured out that the wavelength of this light is 500 nanometers. I can just take 500 nanometers and plug it straight back into another equation. Yeah, you can, but you do have to be careful with the units. So 500 nanometers is 500 times 10 to the negative nine meters. So you need to make sure that you have everything in the correct unit. Got you, got you. And then um, from there, that makes sense, but how do I start a question? So, a um, good place to start a question is to actually write down what you know, and then also write down what you need to know. So then, then somehow relate those variables, if it's with a formula or a diagram, and just try help yourself understand it, and then figure out where to go from there. Great, so seeing that all on the page and, and seeing that diagram especially really helps me understand what the question's asking and what it's about, practically. Yep. Cool. Great, okay, and what about those explaining questions? So those explaining questions you can actually tackle in a really similar way, so pulling out a formula from the formula sheet to help with the variables that they're asking you to compare is a really good place to start because you'll be able to see that relationship if I increase this what does it do to the other variable and that's a really good place to explaining it okay sweet um, but this other the other day I was doing a question I was trying I was really struggling to explain that the earth's mass is 15 kilograms well you shouldn't be explaining it's 15 kilograms because it's probably not so it's a good place to kind of take a step back and be like okay my calculations gave me 15 kilograms but is that logical uh, okay so yeah. really seeing if this this answer that I finally gotten doesn't make sense in context with that question yep, so you probably just made a mistake with your calculations or maybe you used the wrong units or maybe you've also even pulled out the wrong formula. Great, okay, um, I, th I, think, I think I'm on my way. Okay, good luck. Awesome, thank you.